be making basics. What's going on YouTube Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up on the video if you like today's content. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Today I'm going to be talking about the quickest way to create hi-hat patterns in Logic Pro 10. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to let y'all hear this basic loop with a clap over it and then we're going to be creating some dope hi-hat patterns super quick in Logic Pro 10. Let's check it out. All right, cool. So traditionally, um, what you if you want to play a hi-hat pattern, first off, obviously you have to create a track that has a hi-hat pattern in there. So we'll do a software instrument track and then we'll go over here and load a hi-hat pattern using the quick sampler. Okay, quick sampler um, is pretty dope. If you're brand new to Logic Pro 10, you can drag and drop any sound from anywhere, um, from Logic or on your computer into this and you'll be able to um, save those sounds by saving as or load them like this or they're down here. So I already have a hi-hat saved and if I was to pull up my MIDI keyboard and let y'all see what I was going to do here. So that would be the traditional first way to actually play a hi-hat pattern. You go ahead and push play and then you know physically with your finger do that. Now that's pretty dope. That gives a lot of feeling and you can do some stuff but when it comes to getting actually more in depth on the pattern and making something basic more i mean making something more complex this is not going to be the best way to do it okay now vice versa um another way to create hi-hat patterns is going to be by pushing the letter p on your keyboard and that's going to pull up the piano roll and so this is where i can hold down option and zoom in by um scrolling left or right on my keypad or my mouse okay and then i would just hold down command and start drawing in notes now that's cool you can do some pretty cool things that way but it's not the quickest it's not the most effective way honestly to uh, create hi-hat patterns in logic pro 10. the quickest way to do this is after you push p on your keyboard and you get in this piano roll section go right on over to the step sequencer and you're going to see this option right here all you have to do is just click in notes every other note What did that take? Three seconds, and now you have a hi-hat pattern. Literally took about three seconds to, to draw that in. Now, if you want to get a little bit more in-depth, all you have to do is go over here where you see the 16 steps, go to, um, let's say, 64 steps, and then you can pretty much do um, two bars right here. This will be working on these first two bars, and then over here we'll be working on these second two bars. So I can come over here and add just a little variation here and there. Um, come over here. And now, now to what we have. So super simple here, just using this step sequencer, that's going to be the quickest way to lay down hi-hat patterns. There are other things you can do, like I could come over here to this option, and I could do note repeat, and I can add a little bit more variation on certain things. And then I can also come over here to velocity, and then I can add a little bit of velocity uh, variations. Now let's check out what we got. So y'all, that's the video for today. Make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have full-fledged courses that you can buy and download. Um, literally, those courses come with hours of content. And we also have drum um, packs that you can get. So we have our own drum sounds that we have here for you on the site and our own loop packs that we have here that you can use royalty free. And without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and end the video, but thank you so much for watching, we're out.